Hey everyone, this is Charlie Walker here with Chatbots That Convert. I've got a quick session for you guys on how to share your flows. Um, so there's a couple different ways that we can do it. So let's jump right in. Um, I'm actually in the flow builder right now. Let's see, I'm, I'm in the edit mode of the flow builder. And the first way that I want to show you is actually pretty simple. It's just in the top right over here. It's this little hamburger thing. And it's this little screen right here, share this flow. And it's grayed out because, oh actually I'm not published. But it's grayed out because I'm in the edit mode. And I want, to, I want you guys to see that. But I'm going to go ahead and publish it. And I'm going to jump back into this screen here. And notice that even though it's published, it's still not going to let me share. It's grayed out. Whatever, sure. So we're going to click back into chatbot training. Just the flow that I created for this particular thing. We're going to flows, whatever flow you want. And we're going to go back into this little hamburger menu. And now you can see this share this flow option. Okay. And this is going to, so this is how it's going to look as a default. Um, it's the, the only option at first is you can download it as a picture, you can share with somebody to see visually how your flow works. Um, then if you click this enable sharing, you can actually get a link that they can type into their browser. Uh, you can also in, embed it into your own website. Uh, and also this button is not going to be clicked by default. You're going to need to click this button to allow users to clone the flow if they want. So let's just uh, jump right in and see what that would look like. Um, so it, this is the flow that we, that I just put up here, and they can zoom in, zoom out, maximize it, that kind of thing. And the bottom right is the Save to Many Chat button, and this is what is going to enable them to clone the flow. If you didn't want them to be actually, if, if you, all you wanted was them to be able to see it, interact with it, but they couldn't steal it, you would uncheck that button that said Allow Users to Clone This Flow. But if you do, you're cool with it, click click that button and they'll be able to save it to their mini chat and they can click whichever whichever page they want to whichever page they want to add it to so that's one way to do it the other way to do it is actually within the flow itself as it as in if they're getting the messages so with this method you have to, you have a copy paste link that you need to send to somebody or put on your website and that kind of thing you can put it actually within your own flow as well um, that they will be subscribed to so we're going to edit the message and what we're going to do is, whether you put it in the beginning or the end, whatever, it doesn't matter, but we're going to add a card, like just like if you wanted to give them a URL to click through to go to your website, you might add, you know, like a blog post type thing, you add a card for that. In this case, we're going to, instead of adding a link to go to somebody's website, we're going to add a share button that will give them the option to share it. Okay, so I'm just going to add a quick, quick little image there, and then... I'm going to say share this flow. And then for the button, when you click on the button, what I'm going to select is share this card. And so what it's going to do is pull whatever link that you had in here that's attached to here, that's what it's going to prompt them to share. Okay, we're going to do share. You can actually change, I don't, yeah, I don't think you can change the, uh, the share text there. So the card URL, for this one I'm going to use the same, I've already got it saved in my, uh, my copy paste, so I'm just going to do control V, which is the same link that I got from that method up there in the top right. Okay. Now what's going to happen is um, whenever they, they, they want to share this, they're going to share that same flow. So if you wanted your users to be able to share this flow with whoever they wanted, um, that's another way to kind of get your, your flow out there um, into the mini chat community, so to speak. But this particular share function, I want to say, is also very powerful for promoting your own brand and promoting your own chatbots and, and basically growing your subscriber base. Because obviously you can put any URL you want in there and they'd be able to share it. I would recommend using this for using your growth tool, so your, um, your ref URL, whatever that link is, so your users could be like, oh, this is a cool bot, I'm going to share it with, with my friends and they can post it on their timeline, that kind of thing. Um, whoever clicks the link would prompt them to get subscribed into your bot. So just a couple different uses there. Uh, so that's it for this time, guys. Um, thank you all. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you all next time.